Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Amber, and today I am going to be reviewing There There by Tommy Orange. And this is about Pope Indigenous people. And I think, I believe, because this is, these are the two tribes that he specifically mentions, Arapaho and Cheyenne. Um, so I believe that if not all of them, but the majority of these characters are from these tribes. Some of them don't even know what tribes they really are from. Um, so I do like that he brings that into the story. But anyways, we're not in the review yet. But there's about these 12 indigenous people who are on their way um, to this powwow that's happening in Oakland. And it we're seeing the lead up to what goes down at this powwow. Um, so this book centers around identity, generational trauma, the effects of colonization on these 12 people. We see it playing out and how their lives are currently in, and in growing up and etc. So I found this book very powerful, very moving, um, and very important in raising indigenous voices. I connected a lot with, I can't even remember because I got I had to reread this. But there is a character here who is uh, on the light, like he's light skinned, he's indigenous, and he talks about how like he's in the water and like he can see like his legs white and then like his upper body is like brown, and it's something that my family and the I will do during like the summer time with me. Like we will like compare our skins, but like I can compare my own skin because like my light. Brown. Um, even like I, like I notice this a lot with myself too, and like that whole identity thing when it comes to that, like it is a differently, and I see it more of like it. It just represents both sides of me, like both parts of me. Where he felt like it was like, am I white or am I indigenous? And and that was something that I grew up with too, but like not obviously, we all have our different experiences, but with like. For me, it was a lot of like, I couldn't claim being a person of color until I was like, like three years ago, I think. But these were really going down a lot of things, I could say. I was like, and it kind of like clicked in my brain that like, you know, people are always going to see you a certain way. Um, it's really interesting that, so I could connect to a certain character because of that, um, that feeling of understanding, like even though I can't understand what it is to be indigenous, what it is to deal with that kind of trauma when it comes to the colonization um, that they are, that a lot of these people are dealing with. Um, that part I could understand. Um, and like also like the whole question, what are you? Like we're a piece of furniture um, that can be identified clearly. So that was there. but. It's very powerful, it's very moving, and I think that it's important to be raising um, indigenous voices because I feel like it's so few and far between um, that I hear people talk about books by indigenous authors. So, read, read, read this book, please. I think it's really good. I will say, I do have an issue with this book. Um, I will say, in general, my issue is that there are too many characters. Uh, 12 characters and some of them only get like one chapter so they're like a book on the page and i'm just like well these are throwaway characters don't don't have them in this book i just didn't understand the point of those throwaway char characters if i call them because it detracted it from like focusing on other characters and how is this character helping with the plot and the overall message of it i, I just didn't fully understand that understand the purpose um and I felt like maybe that is why the ending feels a bit rushed. I don't mind the open-ended ending. Like, I think that it feels fitting in a way. So I didn't really mind that um, at all. So this book is four stars. I have the book on its way. It's coming tomorrow. And I will be rereading it because I think that rereading it will help me to uh, solidify my thoughts and maybe highlight some of the things that actually... Um, I very important like those parts about the identity that one character if I I'll be able to remember who the character is and like go into more talking about that part of it. But anyways, uh, the issue that I have 
I don't know. I don't feel comfortable saying it's a spoiler, but if you don't want to know anything about what happens to anybody, and you just want to go into it more plainly with what life to it, don't continue on. It does get four stars even with this problem, um, and I would recommend it. I think it's something that everybody can get something out of, and we should be reading and learning and educating ourselves on other people's good experiences, especially when it comes to non-white people and especially indigenous people who we do not, I feel like we don't get to hear their perspective as much as they deserve to be heard. So, that being said, I will be talking a little bit about things that could be considered spoilers now. Um, so we have a character here and he does spend a lot of time with Jackie, Redfeather, and Opal. Wait. Yeah, Jackie, Redfeather, and Opal Viola Victoria Bearshill. These two women are sisters, um, and the this something that happens happens in Opal's perspective when she's a child, um, and they're on they're on Akatara's island at this time. Something that happens in the seventies, and I didn't even know about this, and I need to look this up. Um, but apparently, they they chose to occupy Alcatraz to make demands of the government and I'm not exactly sure what the demands were specifically. It's not talked about here, but I mean I think because it's being told through the perspective of a child. But um, in this perspective we know that Jackie is engraved um, and by this other teenager Harvey. And when we meet Jackie again as an adult, she ends up meeting Harvey again at an AA meeting. Um, and through telling her story, she kind of like confronts him within the group. Like nobody knows, obviously, that she's talking about her experiences, that he, of what he did to her. But yeah, I, what made me really uncomfortable about it is that in a way it feels like the author is excusing Harvey's act, his criminal and horrific act, um, by like having like Jackie like remember how uh, Harvey's father treated him. At the same time, I know, I know, I don't know if you really if it's confusing it because there are like moments here and there were like there are, there is a moment where like because she even but also she's like at, towards the end of the book she's like oh we are okay and I'm like really really no 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 you can never be okay. No, I can never be okay with some asshole who decided to traumatize me and do that to me. And then, like, he got away scot free. He was able to live his life and do whatever he wanted. And yet, you were stuck living with that. And then he has the gall to be like, acting like he had the right to have access to the child that, it, he, that she ended up being ended up pregnant with because of his or his actions. I don't even. I don't even. Like, the goal. The goal. And I, there is like a thing that is said that makes me think that the author is not really trying to like excuse him, but it is one thing to acknowledge that he had trauma and that the child can can that <laughs> but here's the thing. We make a choice in how we deal with our traumas. And we may not have chosen the trauma, but we do choose our own choices. He chose to trump to get, you know, to traumatize her. And now she's living with the trauma. And he was just able to just right off and live off his own life and then wait we're supposed to, supposed to forgive him and like I, I, I just I don't know I don't even know if that's the author's intentions and this is why I'm like in this like quandary about it and if I was able to have like highlighted this and put bookmarks and all the stuff that I wanted to do I would be able to go back and read these sections to you but I just I don't know I just don't know and I nobody talks about this and I just I'm feeling very like it makes me uncomfortable because I don't know what this author's intention with this was because I don't think that she had that she should forgive him she should not have to 
accept him back into her life in any shape or form if she doesn't want to. And I feel very uncomfortable with the idea that she would even want to. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. And I don't like it really. So I just, I don't know what to feel about it. I don't know if, you know, like if, if, if it's problematic fully. I just, I don't know what the author's intentions with this was. And I have the other book, Wondering Stars, and this also deals with Jackie and um, Opal and the grandkids that we meet and they are there. So this book actually continues on, I think, with what happened at the end of this book, but we're also dealing, we're also seeing people, their ancestors from like the 1800s. So yeah, there's a lot of like, like the whole generational trauma thing. I think that's what this book is going on about talking about the generational trauma um and how maybe not generational trauma exactly but like how our history affects our present and our future you know and things like that again i will say we make our choices you can choose how you let your trauma affect you like not affect you but you can you choose, like you make a choice, like he chose to do what he did to her. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm very confused by that a little bit and nobody, nobody talks about this. I have not heard anybody talk about this aspect of the book and I want to know what people have to say about it. I don't know if the authors, what the authors' intentions are, but yeah, I'm really, I feel like I'm being interpreted. So I'm gonna move on. I found, like I said, powerful movie. I do recommend it even with the wrong medic. If it's problematic, <laughs> I'm so confused. But I have the book coming away, and when I reread it, I will do another review uh, about this or talk about it in some way and let you know if my opinion has changed or if there's like more that real, especially if things get more resolved in this book when it comes to this. Maybe this will help me with this. So, anyways. I would love to hear your thoughts on this book, and until next time, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next review.